There are four shows in Spain this week and then one show in Luxembourg. We're playing at High Ibiza, which is literally voted the best club in the world. <laughs> Moving differently. Moving Fuck. differently. <laughs> this thing's got a dash cam. <laughs> Crank is coming out on 16th of September. James Hyde. Yo, it's James Hype. And Sabian Paid. And we are here at Malaga Airport. And um, we got some microphones, so we're just trying to show off to you. But yeah, welcome to another episode of Moving Differently. We are here in Spain. And there are four shows in Spain this week and then one show in Luxembourg. I don't know what that noise is, but it's, it's, like, a, it's like a microphone test right now. Um, anyway, I'm playing at Ants today for the first time in Marbella which should be really cool. It's like um, a really big Spanish tech house brand. And then also later in the week, playing at Elro for the first time ever, which is going to be really interesting. I'm going to change up my set quite a lot for Elro because it's, it's less focused on the DJs and more focused on the experience for the people. Um, so I'm going to play quite differently because I'm not going to be front and center as I normally am. It's a very different party. We're also going back to BCM in Mallorca, one of the best clubs to play at in the world. I love it. And we're playing at High Ibiza, which is literally voted the best club in the world, fact. Um, and then at the end of the week, we're going to Luxembourg. First time I've ever been there. You ever been to Luxembourg? I've drove through it once, but Where I've never actually going? stayed. I was just driving through Europe. Just paid, yeah. paid things. All right, paid. cool, cool, cool. This is mad noise, isn't it? Um, let's go to the hotel. Transition. Can I be honest? I still want your hands up. This looks really posh. Wait. In you get, mate. Push. 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 What do you reckon? What do you reckon? It's a bit old, isn't it? It's a bit of a lift gang. Can we go for it? Yeah. Following your lead. Three, two, one. Lift! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's still going. We made it. It passed the best. It's a mosquito. Oh, oh man. I've, I've, I've angered it. <laughs> oh god, the dog. Oh, oh, let's out. go. <laughs> Open it off. <laughs> Wrong side. A oh, nice view of the road. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. It It'll do. It'll do, mate. How's the aircon? How is the aircon? Let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. Recently, they made air conditioning illegal in Spain. Now that sounds like a joke, but it's not. How's everyone feeling? Do you know what, right? So, we got to this hotel, but right, I left my house at like lunchtime, and now it's fucking 7 p.m. Shit travel day. But we got to this hotel and we were all like, yeah, we gotta eat, we need food. It's quite a big hotel. We were like, all right, where should we go to eat? There's like two restaurants. And we are like, we went into the first one. The guy's like, oh, sorry. We don't serve food till half past seven. Look, it's 20 past seven right now. And um, so he was like, it's okay though, you can go to the, the pool bar. We went to the pool bar and they were like, sorry, we stopped for seven food at seven. <laughs> so we're, just, we're in limbo right now. Just waiting to get some food. I need to get my set ready for tonight. I really, I really, I just don't know what the vibe's gonna be like tonight because it's, it's a beach club, but it's a nighttime set. Never done that before. Um, the other people on the lineup are playing pretty underground music from what I can understand. Gonna have a look on Instagram, see if I can 
scope out what's, what the vibe is. Rashawn's going to go down there for sound check as well, so he might give me some feedback on what's getting played. So, yeah, played what you're saying. Just look at the menu Rashawn sent me. And, oh, there's uh, a menu. It's reminded myself that I'm going to have food in about fucking 38 hours because yeah. <laughs> it's been that long. Like, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry because I want to eat food. I'm hungry because I want something to do. Well, if that makes sense. I hear that. But um, apart from that, I'm okay. Woke up at around about 10 a.m. Haven't slept on the plane or anything because I'm not tired. But um, yeah, I'm quite. I'm looking forward to tonight, you know, because seeing the advertisements around the airport of the club seems pretty lit. So yeah. Lit. It's like it's like midnight. We're on the way to the club right now. Um, I kind of pieced the set together. Do you know what? Right. Over the past couple of weeks, I've done a lot of new gigs, like a lot of very different kind of gigs. Because when I play the same type of venues, I find myself playing the same type of set because it just makes sense. It's like, well, these are the best tunes for this. Like, like realistically, throughout the course of the summer, music doesn't change that much. You know, people want to hear the same type of tunes. People are going to respond well to the same type of tunes. It's very rare that you get like a brand new tune. And it's like, oh my god, I have to play that. You know, music like the, the good music tends to have more longevity. Um, so when I play the same type of clubs, I always tend to play the same type of set throughout through a period of a couple of months. You know, um, over the past few weeks, I've done quite a, quite a few gigs that have felt quite different to me. Uh, like playing a Pasha, for example, at the end of the night last week. Like that was that was a real opportunity to play some real different stuff. And then this gig tonight, like there's a, there's a guy called Latman on the lineup who's like super underground DJ. You know, so I'm I'm just trying to like expand expand what I'm doing through these gigs where I've got the opportunity to play slightly differently so anyway where I was going with this over the past few weeks I've added quite a lot of like new transitions some new music into my potential bank of sets for this summer what I've been doing today in the hotel room is refining that stuff because it's like sometimes I'll create a transition I'll test it out and it'll be like oh, a 7 out of 10 I'm like well how can we make that a 10 out of 10 you know I've done it a couple of times I've filmed it I'm like oh, okay people react well but how can they react better so I'm just like how many how many times do I want the loop to go around where can I set the cue point in the, be the best place um, and I actually did an edit of one track as well to make it drop on the second drop not the first drop because I feel like it just made more sense and it's going to translate better to the crowd so I, I, I got on my laptop before I was like I've got to get my set ready for tonight I want to like get some new music and all that and as soon as I sat down I was like Nah, new music is not the answer. I got loads of new music last week, lo loads of new music the week before. Look, new music's not the answer. It's make what you're already doing better. Because the way, the way I see it as well, people people will probably see me, maybe the biggest, the biggest fans might see me like twice a year live, you know? So I don't need to change, <laughs> I don't need to play, music, play new music every single week. It's not a live stream where the same people come every single week, you know? So it's not about new music, it's about making what I'm already doing better. And that's what I've been focusing on today. So yeah, expect some greatness. There was some new music in there tonight as well, just, I just couldn't help myself, you know, when, when that new fire drops. But yeah, I'm ready. I really don't know what to expect from this club because it's a weird set time. It's not late, it's like half past 12, which for Spain sits right in between. Because the Spanish nightclubs, the headliner plays really late like 3 or 4 a.m. But then it's not daytime either because it's too late for that. So it's a strange one. We'll see how it goes. First time in this area. I've never been to Marbella before, but it's a, it's a big tourist spot and this club is really well known. So looking forward to it.
We are here in the Garden of Eden uh, for the debrief. With the Garden of Debrief is where we are right now. Welcome to the debrief. The D to the brief. Myself, Rashawn K, Sabi and Paid. Let's talk about the show. We walked in there, really, really good sound hit me straight away. They had banging monitors, and the monitors were on this like wooden deck, and I feel like the wood played a part in the sound. Mm. It had like a really warm sound to it. The DJ before me was using like the maddest contraption you've ever seen. Like, and then they had to do like a tech changeover, but the problem is they didn't have enough CDJs to have two full setups. So they had like two mixers. Let me, let me pause you there. Go they on. had enough CDJs, they just couldn't be bothered to take them out. Brilliant. They kind of did a really smooth changeover and then pulled all the plugs out at the last minute and it went silent for about five minutes. I was like, oh, it's going really well, isn't it? And then all of a sudden, like, it's like, no, no, we're going to need that guy's decks as well. And then it was just silent and yeah, it just didn't, it wasn't smooth. Usually I have a lot of things to say, but I, I, I can't, just me being real with everyone, I can't really say how I feel about it because while James was just doing what he had to do and performing, I had to deal with everything in the background, logistically in terms of like security and keeping the team safe. Again, respect goes a long way. Do not disrespect people that you don't know. Get to know everyone. And yeah, you never know who anyone is. Hi fam, you did not disappoint today. As James said earlier, you done a mazo and yeah, I don't know what to say, I'm tired. Oh bro, I'm so tired. I can't wait to sleep. I'm so excited to sleep. All right, um, see you for breakfast. Transition, who does this? Oh, there's a guy here. Yo, Sabi and Paid, where am I? Can you find me? Paid. Just testing out the new mics, such a flex. We woke up. Um, BCM tonight, it's gonna to be a mazo. Let's go to James's room. Yeah, Andrew. Yo. Thank you. Right, let's get out of here. Morning. Good morning, what's going on? Say hi to Tito Lau. Tito Um, Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm doing a little lift gang on the way down. Oh, yeah. mate. No, be no better way to wake up, in my opinion. You've got to make your beats and lift game, yeah? Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, bro. You know, this, this lift got it, mate. It's like, it's, it's, nothing phases it. Proper sturdy, like. Yeah. Oh, Don't know about you, John. <laughs> Sean Shook, man. I've never seen I, you like this before. I, I actually have, because this lift is kind of... shaking. Help, please. What's the plan today, Ryan? Uh, plan right now, we're on the way to the airport. We are about 15 minutes out. Um, we're heading to Palma del Mallorca. Gotcha. Hometown of Rush. <laughs> yeah, it's my old stomping ground. We're going to BCM. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did, I did say the last time, I wasn't sure, but the club was sick. The club is fire, like absolutely fire. Really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. So it's gonna be a mad one tonight. And it's Thursday, Thursday is really good. You get a lot of people that just landed. So yeah, what are you saying, so? Is it one of the last shows in BCM? Like for their- the last one. The last BCM show. Last BCM show. Closing. Yeah, it's the last show, so it's going to be special. It's going to be mad. Mm -hmm. Transition. Yo, um, yo, I just had my first coffee of the day and I'm absolutely sweating, like sweating so bad because they made air conditioning illegal in Spain. Um, Can we just pad it to the fan? Oh, yeah, the fans are on limit right now. Super effective, super <laughs> effective. Um, basically, I just wanted to tell you about this um, Lazza remix of Ferrari that's coming out literally next week. Uh, I just played it to Rashan in full. A lot of you guys will have heard it on my story. Now, if you're not from Italy, 
then you might not even know who this guy is, but he's an enormous rapper from Italy. Um, and basically, he, he heard Ferrari and he was like, yo, I want to do like a remix of it. And we're signed to the same record label, so it's super easy to make it happen. Um, and he recorded like all verses for it and stuff, sent over the files, and I've like pieced it together to make a finished, so finished project, you know? And he's been putting out little teasers of it on his Instagram, and he's been performing it live, and like it looks insane, like, proper insane. So we're hoping to go number one in Italy with this. Um, and it's coming out next week. So um, obviously if you're Italian, you might have already heard it. And if you're not, just keep an eye out, keep an eye out on Spotify for it. Cause he doesn't speak a word of Italian, but I played it to him and he, and he was going mad. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, Crank is coming out on 16th of September. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That's my rhythm right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Crank is the one that goes <laughs> you know that one big tune um, yeah coming out on um, Tomorrowland on 16th of September so make sure you um, buy it on Beatport who does this transition to transition to the plane bomb wow right, right. what is that web the only aircon in the whole oh, yeah. airport fam. I Don't walked snitch, bro. Don't snitch. Here, yeah. Recording this, mate. I think they forgot to turn off the air conditioning in this corridor. They're going <laughs> to send this to the police, mate. Recording it all. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Mallorca. Um, it's actually really nice. We thought we didn't have a driver, but it turns out we did have a driver. We'd just been given the wrong phone number for the wrong person. So there was a driver here. We just didn't have his number. Um, so yeah, it's all good. I made a tune on the plane, like from nothing. I'll play you. Um, I'll play you when we're at the hotel. Also, I'm doing a Reddit AMA today. I've never done it before, um, but yeah, that's happening in two and a half hours. Do you even know what happens for a Reddit AMA? <laughs> Probably neither. They've given me like um, a guide. You know, they're like, "Oh, do this post here." And then like someone's meant to be calling me, but do I just type or do I talk? I don't even know. We'll find out. Welcome to New York. Lift, 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 gang, lift, lift, lift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the side. It stopped. Oh. It's okay. I knew, I, knew, I knew it was okay. I knew it would be all right. Lift gang never fails. Lift gang never fails. Until it fails. Yeah. See you later, Wallace. <sighs> Bro, I'm so tired of these Spanish rules that I don't understand. I think I'm too British for everything. Like, we arrived at this hotel and the sun's out. I was like, yeah, let me get my laptop. I'm go sit down by the pool, get some food, get a drink, get a coffee, and do the Reddit AMA. Went down there. Got a seat, Wallace and Sabo with me. It's really, really hot. And we'd sat there for like half an hour and no one came over. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Are they not gonna take, take our order or anything? So I, I went and asked someone, I was like, can we get food? And then she was like, oh, maybe like go to that bit over there, the other bit of the hotel. So we walked over there, tried to get in. They were like, oh no, you can't get in here. You don't have the special access to get in here. I was like, so can we get food anywhere? She's like, no. Denied. Denied. So you can't get food until seven o'clock and it was like five o'clock when this happened. Um, so just went to a shop and bought all the ham because that's one thing the Spanish do really well, ham. Um, so anyway, time to answer some of these questions. Obviously there's some uh, bullshit ones up at the top, like who are you with 132 upvotes? Come on mate, just Google it innit? Just Google it mate. Don't really need to put that at the top. Ket or Coke? I'm surprised that hasn't been moderated away, you know? <laughs> but it hasn't. I've never really used Reddit before today. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even have an account. There are some good questions, but no one voted for them. I think the problem is here is everyone's got their own question and no one's voting for other people's. Do you know what I mean? Everyone just wants their own one to be answered. So let's start. Best tips for DJs to get noticed and promote themselves. 
I'm going to try and do three bullet points. Best tips for DJs to get noticed and promote themselves. Number one, be different to others. Everyone wants to discover something fresh. Number two, try every format of content to see what you're good at. Make music, make videos, make mixes, and see what people like the most. Number three, be consistent. Neither of the above points will work unless you do them for literally years. Good luck. I did my first reply. What age did you start DJing and how did you get properly into it? And then he's put in brackets, come on, someone had to ask the boring questions. I don't think it's a boring question. I don't really talk about it that much. I got some belt drive turntables and a non-brand DJ mixer off eBay for my 15th birthday. Got bored of the limitations of vinyl really quickly and saved up for some Stanton CD decks. When I was 18, I, got, I first got a gig in a bar and then pushed myself to get a gig, to get my first gig in a club from handing out demo CDs. I think I took DJing seriously at this point because it paid the bills. I increased my seriousness massively about five years later when I started to teach myself to produce. Post. Here we go, we're getting through it now. Any performance moment where you actually lost your composure, how much did you learn from that moment slash experience? Okay, I literally stopped the music by accident during a set at Printworks in London. I had a few decks playing in the middle of a transition and I stopped the wrong one. I was so far out of my zone on that night, I had to completely like shake myself off and get into it. And I've learned in those scenarios, if I act like I'm completely in the zone and having the best time ever, then soon I will be. It's kind of the best way for me to get into it. So if you ever see me like jumping around like fucking mad on stage and it looks like a bit weird, that's probably what I'm doing. <laughs> Yo, someone's asked, what in ears, what brand in ear monitors do you use? Everyone always asks me this, so fuck it, let's just say, Sure 535. I've said, I don't love them, so I'm not super quick to recommend them, but they do the job, they are reliable, have replaceable parts, and you can buy them in any city in the world. Yo, one more here. Would you ever have expected that Ferrari would go this viral and in a shocked face? I said, as a creator, I love everything that I make. I go through phases of thinking that every track is the best thing ever and also thinking every track is boring and awful. With Ferrari, the people of the internet told me very quickly that it was a very special tune. There's like, there's so many good questions here, but I can only find the shit ones. And I'm getting like notifications through to my phone. Like this one's sick here, yeah? Who and what genre inspired you to start DJing? What's your advice to get your foot in the industry? Hey James, do you look to other more, do you look up to other, pardon me, more popular DJs or do you see them as colleagues? Um, you know, but then all I'm finding on here is like the moderator removed this comment. <laughs> when will you tour the USA? You know what I mean? Where's the good ones? Um, cool, I'm gonna answer the rest of these and then go to gym and then eat some food and then do the show. Dale, dale, all right, um, transition. Yo, so we went and got dinner, right? And, um, it was quite nice actually. And um, came straight back to the room and I had like a hot flush and then instant diarrhea. And I've literally been on the toilet and in the shower and back on the toilet and back in the shower, back on the toilet and back in the shower for the past hour and 15 minutes. So I haven't had any chance to put anything into a set that wasn't there last night, so. Sorry everyone. But to be fair, the set last time I played it was pretty fire, so more of the same, why not? Um, yeah, these guys went and got me some tablets, so hopefully it's gonna hold the diarrhea in, otherwise it's gonna be a mad episode. <laughs> <laughs> I shit well, myself at BCM, that's a good title. <laughs> Well, it's you step in, I'll put my hands through to mix for you. You'll be good. Don't worry, too heavy. Ah, oh, bro. Three to one, go. Uh, just like that, it's not fast. Mm. 17 Damn, minutes to the show time. Yes, I'm sweating. <laughs> Who does this? Alright, let's <laughs> We knew you had a purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on, moving on, moving on. 
moving, what's it called? Moving, moving differently. Moving oh, differently. Yeah, or moving, Get moving out against the flow and all that. transition for us so Wallace has decided to let him do a transition. Star wipe. So the good news is the tablets worked. I made it through the show without shitting my pants. Do you know what Rashan said to me right right before we left for the show? He was like fucking hell you're gonna wear shorts. 
I was like, what difference would it make if I wore trousers? What, are you going to, like, trap the shit in the leg of the trousers if I shit myself? Like, yeah, this is not a problem. Bro, if I shit myself, I shit myself, you know? Um, so, debrief, made it through the show, didn't shit myself. <laughs> That's... <laughs> what? Um, it was... Uh, it was just really fun. I always like playing at clubs that I've played at before because it just feels like it's like there's so there's way less pressure on it. So I'm just like, I just really enjoyed it, just enjoyed myself. There was a moment where, um, a moment that will probably go down in tour management history <laughs> where um, you got a clip of it, Wallace. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so before I say what happened, insert the clip here. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, two, these two random girls like got up on stage, thought they were like the dancers. They weren't. Um, one of them like put her handbag like next to the decks, like she was about to like do a madness. Next thing, I saw them. Rashawn locks eyes with them. He went from being next to me to being on the stage in like a split second. You know, like when you watch like, mm, you know, you know when you watch like a mad insect move and it's so fast, you're like, how did he even make that much space in that little time? It was like that. And then, right, I swear to God, he had one girl under each arm, picked them up and just ran to the other end of the stage with them. Proper top G maneuver. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed my set. Uh, it wasn't quite as busy as the last time we played there because it's like um, later in the season, you know. Uh, the, the season here isn't as long as the season in Ibiza because Ibiza has the longest season of them all. I don't know how or why that is, but it is. And speaking of Ibiza, that's where we're going tomorrow to play at the best club in the world. Who's joining us? Who's joining us? Oh my God. Champagne, Kenny's joining us. Champagne. Um, Pay, do you want to talk about the show? Um, second BCM experience. It was really cool. Um, can't get over the fucking booth monitors in there. Unreal. It's so loud. But um, yeah, no, it was it was a vibe. One thing I will say. And like, I have no shame in owning up to this. Um, I was trying to see, basically James threw me off, completely threw me off. He tried to get him one together, like, we need to film this, we need to film this. So I'm like, cool, hands on the button. I'm ready for CO2. Then I'm watching the deck. I was like, cause usually I just watch what he's doing. Use my ear, if I can't see him, I use my ears to what's going on. And yeah, he got me good because I missed the drop. And I saw you turn around like, where's the effects? <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't know what deck you were using. Also, another thing, there was less high fam than I expected. No, uh, they're just on the cover. Do you reckon? Uh, yeah, they were. Whoa. They they started poking up in yeah. the middle like, whoa. The amount of people I spoke to tonight, they were like, you saved my life. Really? Yeah. Three different people said that to me tonight. Pretty sure there was a guy crying at the end. Yeah. That's what I mean. Oh, like, mad. They were hype from there. They oh. just didn't look like how you were expecting them. I was probably oblivious then. The we guy... too busy eating Kinder eggs. The guy that was crying. Don't worry. I'll accept my apology. It's cool. I saved his life. He was about to get kicked out. Oh, really? And I said, no, just leave him. Because he's already told me that he really wanted to meet you. Mm. And I was like, no. What a Michael Wallace, bro. You've been to BCM twice now. Do you prefer it with or without your mum and dad? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, I don't. That was, uh, it was with or without? You said no. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I prefer it with. Um, I thought they brought more of a vibe than what was in the VIP booth. 
Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, well, to be fair, though, they are your family, so like you are yeah. allowed to prefer them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wallace scenes went wild. Yeah. Um, no, it was also nice to experience it without them, because like, <laughs> when they were there, it's like, I just know I'm being watched by my mum and dad. <laughs> Which, like, it's nice to have them there, but it's also a bit like, I, like, I can't fully, fully concentrate and give 100% on my job. Did you see the guy who looked like you at the end? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> did you I, did, I, I did, I did, I just looked at Rashad and shook my head. He's like, he's like what, what, what's wrong? And then he heard you say it again. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy that looked like me. That looked like me. Bro, <laughs> he fucking did, yeah, bro. He had short hair <laughs> and glasses. If he grew his hair, bro. <laughs> if I think he, grew he grew his hair, hair and I wore aviators, then maybe, but nah. <laughs> there is no photo. There is no video. You just have to guess. I thought that Monday we were going to go to a show and it's going to be bare well, there were once uh, the merch goes live at Wild Wallace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Out of the next three shows, High Ibiza, Elro, Fabric, Madrid, and Luxembourg. It's got a name. It's one minute. I'll tell you the name of the festival in Luxembourg because I can't remember it. But I did write it on my Instagram yesterday. It is Parks and uh, Ultra Charles Pond Festival. Um, which one are you most looking forward to? I am most look. Uh, I can't even speak. I'm looking forward to Fabric the most. I've heard a lot of things, and it's Elro. I've never been to an Elro event, so I'm excited just to see what like what the hype's all about. And I think it's going to be interesting to see James play at an event like that. And I've heard the club is really cool, so. Same. Bro, I agree. Yeah. Same. Like, I'm excited to play at high. I like playing at high because yeah. I've played there before. And as I said, I like playing it somewhere the second time. But with Elro, the set times are so perfect as well. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Um, it's Dom Dollar is on 12 till 1.30. Medusa, 1.30 till 3. James Hype, 3 till 5. And then, like, someone I don't know, like... Elro Residence closing. Resident at the end. Yeah. Which is fucking ideal. I think the lineup is very sick. Yeah, because, like, that's, that, that's, that would be the set time I chose out of, out of all them, you know? And, yeah, I don't have to worry about fucking, fucking anyone else off by playing too well, either. <laughs> you know, them ones. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's going to be great. I'm going to... I get to play two hours, which will be fun. Take take them on a journey. A journey into whoop day, bitch, I'm outside, it's a movie. I'm addicted to blue cheese. Uh, so, yeah, here we, here we, here we fucking go. Nice ad lib. All right, cool. Um, Wallace, do some sort of transition, bro. Oh, Wallace, don't wait. Yo, good morning. Great news for you. Didn't shit myself. How did you sleep? I slept like a baby. I got into the room, watched like two or three Instagram clips and fell asleep whilst my phone was Probably left shot. his phone playing in it for yeah. Wallace in the background. <laughs> so yeah, that was not too I fell asleep quite quick. And then um, I woke up at like what, 10 in the morning. And I was like, why am I awake? I have like an extra two hours of bed. So I slept, and after I woke up to my 15 alarms, and then, um, yeah, we also had room service kicking down our door, saying, oh yeah, you need to check out, even though we had late checkout, and they know we have late checkout, but they're like, you know what, we're gonna try it. So yeah, that happened. Apart from that though, six sleep. Now we're flying to Ibiza. So yeah, there's a driver waiting for us outside. He's drinking my Agua Con gas. Who does this? Tell them again, yeah. All right. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Best club in the world tonight. Yo, what are you saying? We're in the airport. Um, I just spilt half my coffee on the floor and it's like the whole thing's got a black floor apart from this little room but this has a white floor. And obviously fate would have it. My coffee got spilt here on the white floor. So, um, we are in Parma Airport, that's right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Flying to Ibiza. It's a very, very short flight. If you look at the map, it's like super close. Um, I think we go on like a small plane as well. So yeah, when we get to Ibiza, um, 
go out for dinner with the uh, guys from Medusa and Mr. Jam as well. So that'd be cool. And play at High tonight, the best club in the world. I need to get I need to get some music ready. I I literally assigned an hour and a half last night to getting my set ready, and then something different happened. The uh, the lovely food, which was actually quite nice, but obviously wasn't hygienic. <laughs> Everything um, really got a bit shitty, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, the, the beautiful food cha uh, changed my plans for me. So I, I really need to spend some time getting my set sorted out because the, the next two shows, High Ibiza and Fabric Madrid, um, I'm not going to be playing similar to how I always play. You know, I'm going to be playing more underground music, um, both late, very late night sets. So yeah, I need to do some work on that. Tita Lau, you're on moving differently. You good? Yeah, I'm just on my way out, so I thought I'd give you a quick call, but it's okay, I'll speak to you later. I'll call you back, all right? Love you, bye. Love you, bye. So, yeah. You can freaking cut it there, innit? <laughs> Wild Wallace spy Is it just two runways here? Uh, runways here. Who does this? The number's the wrong way around. Yo, back in Ibiza. How long ago was it when we were here? A week ago? Or two weeks ago? One week. One week ago? Um, I'm not ill. Last time we were here, I was feeling ill. I didn't tell the camera that because I didn't want to be ill, but as you saw, it didn't really work out very well for me, so yeah, we're back here, I'm feeling good. And um, it's been on a hot flight, man, a hot flight. Spanish love it hot. Everything uh, in Spain is hot. Everything in Spain is hot. So, yeah, here we go. Hopefully we've got some air conditioning in the hotel. Actually, we're staying in Pasha Hotel, which has good air conditioning, yeah. So, yeah. Let's go transition. Uh, we had a, we had a couple call, of camera call, difficulties call. then. This I feel like at some point in this episode, we're going to end up with filming on an iPhone. Um, what's this camera this seen better days? It needs to go into the uh, radio check repair over. shop. Oh, I don't even know if you can hear me right now because um, Champagne Kenny's taking over the radio channels with uh, his military style. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's bro, go. Welcome to Ibiza, bro. Thanks, bro. Good dip. See Who you. does this? <laughs> Sheesh. Yo. So we're at this restaurant, bro. Like all the uh, all the fucking gang are here. There's people from the record label here. There's my manager's here, Medusa here, Mr. Jam's here, Champagne Kenny's here. It's up being paid here. I think he's on the phone to his grandmother right now though, so we we'll, we'll just, we'll just screen him out, you know, edit him out in the video. We don't want him to dox him. Well, thank you. Uh, pirate. <laughs> His grandma's a pirate. <laughs> Sorry, doxed him. You got the um, wrong menu. So, anyway, basically, right. We no, just we're in the video. Thanks, bro. No, grandma. <laughs> what are you like? Um, so, yeah, I started, I started put. I had like 40 minutes before we had to come to this meal. I started like putting stuff together for my set. And I'm absolutely gassed. Like, I'm proper fucking excited. Because, like, I know exactly what this room's like now, you know. I haven't played it before, and I feel like I'm like I'm at that stage of the summer. I always get to a point at the end of the summer where I've played so many gigs that I feel like I just get really good at the end of the summer. It's just out of like practice and going to the same places over and over. Like I played the Pasha set last week, really good. Like late night, I beat the set, so I'm just in a really good place to do this one for tonight as well. I started downloading new shit, started going through old shit, got some like special like acapellas that I want to put in, and like I'm. Tell that to Lucy. I'm fucking gassed. I love it. So, I can't wait to get back out of here. Back to the room. <laughs> Put the set together and then, yeah, we, we're leaving at like um, 2 a.m. to go to the pub. <laughs> Thank you. San Pellegrino, who does this? Transition. Fresh. <laughs> it's on a mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Um, we're drinking coffee again. We're drinking coffee again. 
What number are you? I don't think I've had that many, though. I don't think I've had that many coffees. Who's Mike? Oh, Kenny. It's only half nine. I'm so happy, bro. I've got like three hours and a little bit more to prepare my set for the gig. Bro, I started putting stuff together. I'm just, I'm mad excited. Like, mad excited. Come on. You've never seen me play a set like this before. Yeah, so Paige, you've never seen me play a set like this. Neither of you, Kenny. So, we've been in a similar situation where in Malaga, you said you've never played a set before like this. Thank you. Where it's like a bit more, it's like more of a journey that like is chill and after you Thank fucking you. go through all the fields. So like, I always gas for that and when it happened and see that thing go in action, it was fucking sick. So I'm gas for tonight. Plus it's number one club in the world. Yeah, that's true. But the, the difference between that Malaga show you were talking yeah. about and this is that that was daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the end of the night. This is know? the power hour. So, yes, well, not even it's yes, dark. Yes, Thank you. It's dark, you know? Yeah, like. When you see the room as well, you'll get it. Like, yeah. there's no point trying to play nothing like, happy and uplifting in there. That ain't what it is. You it, know? That, that's the room to just go fucking heavy and. Not heavy, heavy, but like heavy and underground. Yeah. 100%. Transition. Do you know what I will say? I'm so grateful to be here and feeling healthy. When I was sick last week, I spent like four days in a room just like this without leaving the room. And yeah, it's a lovely room. I'm well aware of that and I'm grateful for that. But I'm just so grateful to just feel alive again. Um, I am so excited for this set. I've been getting music ready for three and a half, four hours. And, bro, yeah, it's going to be sick tonight. It's going to be special. Oh, I've just got some stuff that I'm going to play that is, everyone's just going to be like, whoa, whoa. Like, mm, what, what I really like about this, right, Wallace, Sabian, Rashan, and Kenny aren't going to know what I'm playing at all. These guys, not so much Kenny, but the others, they see my sets all the time. So it's like they can always see my next move. Sometimes I actually just take pleasure in shocking them. <laughs> Especially Rash, because he thinks he always knows what's coming next, you know? Because um, he understands like he understands a lot about music. Um, so yeah, there's so much music I've never played before. Like probably 80% of the set I've never played before in a club. Listen to this, bro. You ready? Jeez. I don't know how that's going to come through on the mic. Hopefully, it sounds good. Uh, anything else that I want to play? Now you'll hear the rest later. Wallace has got a suitcase with him right now. Wallace is taking a suitcase to high because um, he's got to go straight to someone's wedding. So whoever's wedding it is, sorry, I don't know who you are, but um, Wallace is a really good person to you because <laughs> he's getting like some 5 a.m. flight or some shit. No sleep game. Where are we debriefing? Oh, on the fish, if you press it, it's super zooms. I actually kind of want to see that. Okay. I wouldn't. Where's the security guard? Two, three, one, four, two, three, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, Yeah.
debrief i am really really fucking tired but like Chilled i've up. just i've just sat down and i'm just like <laughs> 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 um that was incredible um kenny what are you saying bro like <laughs> you just took me down the rabbit hole bro like that's the side of you that i've who does this bro all i'm like, saying wallace you better put a lot of that set in moving differently because the people need to experience that set um i wouldn't change anything apart from the moment where i accidentally stopped the deck cooking by with my hand <laughs> oh bro that threw me right off i like uh, saved it pretty <laughs> fast but yeah that really happened um it was like the yeah it it was um it was epic it was so good like such a good balance of people in the room as well you know it was really good energy loads of hype fam yeah hype fam supporting um fucking yeah it was re really fucking cool paid what are you saying i will confidently 100 percent say that's my favorite set from you like straight up like, it, it might be my favorite set from me but i don't want to speak too soon i've only just yeah. done it <laughs> like you always you always body your sets, innit? But this was just fucking, <laughs> as they were say, 
somewhere in the UK, different gravy. Thank you. That was fucking sick, man. That like, yeah. Bro, it was the journey of journeys, that. Like, it wasn't even a journey, it was a fucking pilgrimage, man. That shit was mad. <laughs> bro. <laughs> it was sick, man. Come on, bro. Like, I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like, yeah. that, it was like, genuinely like, no cap. It was fucking sick. Thank you, bro. Thank there's, you. There's not many words to like fucking say, but yeah. Was, Let me give yeah. a microphone to Rush. Right. Everyone knows the saying, I've got to give my flowers to my bro store, because that was absolutely epic. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I took like several breaks because I'm standing there trying to like keep my stance and then um, yes. guns, fingers, everything was just popping off. I was just like, yo, I can't, I can't, this is just too much. But um, it was absolutely epic, man. Like, seriously, it, 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 yeah, I have to agree with Sab. Favorite, favorite set, literally, like, start to finish. And um, yeah, a lot of a lot of hype fans. Yeah. Hey, Rush, like, did you even know what was coming at all? I had no clue. No clue. No clue. No clue. No clue. No no clue. clue. Literally, I was like locked in on the decks, trying to work out what's going on, trying to figure out what is this man. So yeah, literally, I was like, what? What, what is this? But yeah, like, it was like, oh, bro. When you dropped Lady Saw, no! <laughs> my head spun out. I was just like, Wait, what? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. literally, it was like, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. All right, so let me tell you a mad story that sounds so weird that it's probably not even true. Wallace is going to the airport right now. He's actually got a suitcase next to him. We're going to bed, right? We're all going to bed. Wallace is going to the airport. He's flying to Madrid. So go to a wedding. Like, are you gonna get to go to sleep? No. Wow. He's <laughs> flying to Madrid. He's flying to Madrid. Real high fan don't sleep anyway, but he's, <laughs> he's flying to Madrid, going to a wedding, and then coming to El Royal Fabric with us before he goes to bed. Um, so yeah, make some noise for Wild 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 Wallace. <laughs> wow. And whoever's wedding you're going to, because they're obviously important. Um, so, we are, bro, well, I do weddings, um, just no one invites me in it, if you want to invite me, just put it in the comments below, um, and we'll, we'll I'll, in fact, just email Rush. Oh, okay. <laughs> email is right. <laughs> and if you want to buy a Wild Wild t-shirt, it's www.wildwildwallace.web. No. Um, right. So yeah, we're going to bed. Uh, get Kenny to do the transition. Rush. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Oh, that was bad, you know. well, Wallace, we're gonna miss you, bro. I'll miss you guys. Don't go too wild at the it's wedding. Be real. I'll see you in. <laughs> Try, bro. I know. Good luck. <laughs> Already? Two already? What? Wrong cocktails. Oh, all I was cocked. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I was a bit delayed on that one. Thanks, bro. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, bio. Show you, sus. What? Oh, no. Transition. Transition. <laughs> Yo, bro, bro, how are you feeling with that Wallace? Look at this. What not, eh? Stuff is missing, like a lot. Uh, oh, um, if you want, you can like go on like, my shoulder if you want. Wow, wow. Don't clash heads with him. His head is huge. And he's Shit, big as well. All right, bro. All right, do you we'll transition? We have to cancel the show. Head transition. I think we need Wallace back in it. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> I'm at a wedding. Transition. <laughs> um, moving differently update. We are here in... Where? Madrid. 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 Um, we just found like the ultimate tour manager tour. The Einstein cap light. And um, Michelle wants it. And we're going to buy it for him. 
Amazing. So, could you ask the lady to get us the Einstein cap right out? Because it's like sealed. She looks angry. She looks furious, but. That's how you know it's yeah. me. <laughs> she looks furious, mate. Like, I'm not even going to point the camera at her because yeah, I feel like she's going to slap me or something. I'm, just, I'm actually going to go around here. Trying to dress for the occasion tonight. Real Madrid shirt. I don't even know if this is a proper shirt. I'm hoping they got one that fits me. We're in the airport, by the way. So it's definitely just not going to have a mirror. Like, can someone hold up a phone? Do you know what? It looks alright, don't it? Yeah. It's not like awfully tight, and it'll be better without the t shirt underneath. I just quite like it. Like, yeah. it's sold. Dale. So, Real Madrid changes uh, in. Uh, oh. Yeah, football. <laughs> I feel like you nearly just tripped up doing it. Rush. Where are we, bro? Madrid. Are you excited to use your new headlight? Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> I'm excited for the champagne. Oh, bro. First time in Madrid, bro? First time in Madrid? Yeah, first time. First time popping bottles in Madrid. Transition. All right, good news. Wallace is back. Uh, what's the lighting saying in here? Is it good? Yeah, it's all right. All right, well, Wallace, I've got something to show you. Oh. Don't worry, oh, don't need to be lights. scared. Right. Yeah. Um, when we were in the airport, Rashawn found his dream tour managing accessory. And we're gonna do an unboxing right now and moving differently. The Albert. <laughs> the Albert Hein. And I feel like I, I feel like the lady almost slapped me for wanting to buy this. She she yeah, was really angry, wasn't she? She was really angry. Um, but we didn't get slapped. Managed to buy the thing, and Rashawn, from me to you. <laughs> Apparently, as well, I heard and I read that if you go like that in front of the light, it turns on. Stop that guy. <laughs> this thing's got a dash cam. <laughs> so Wallace, Yo. tell us all about the wedding, bro. It was very Spanish. There was a lot of ham. Yeah. A lot of cheese. Tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes. Yeah. Boston steak, can't I? Yeah. Um, that was it, really. I, I had to take photos, so I was still working. What, you're taking photos? Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah, right. Oh my God. The Salmon Files with James Hype and Sabby and Paid. That Salmon. Where we will review your Salmon. Super Salmon. What was we recording that last bit? There's absolutely no context. Um, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing was even better. Tran... Actually, right now we're on the way to Fabric Madrid, which is a really big club that I've never been to before. And it's Elro, and I've never been to an Elro event before, so I'm excited about that too. We're gonna to try and film the whole set tonight because my set was so fire last night, I'm gonna play very, very similar tonight. And yeah, hopefully we get something great. So I'm looking forward to it. With Sean, we do a little lift gang for him in a minute. I can, tell, I can tell he needs one. Um, all right, let's get out of here, transition. So, um, Rashawn, how are you feeling? Are you feeling quite energized? Mm -hmm. You look like you might need a little. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, this still didn't work. Oh, it's a strong lift, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. It is a cool one, though. It's a club lift. Yeah. Night club. Can you know what a lift is? Mm -mm. What's a lift? Elevator. Mm. Makes, Makes sense. sense. We need a translator Come for Kenny. Let's go. You said it's the best team in the world. First person I've met. Go football, go football. Small door. Fuck it now. Alright, 
right, so this club is fucking good. It reminds me of being in Liverpool when I was 18 and going to like actual raves and the floor being sticky and it stinks and it's just, it's fucking sick. Um, it looks amazing out there, it sounds amazing. And um, Medusa is playing right now, and we just saw some of the set. We saw like the big fucking crazy shit going off. In fact, I'll show you on my phone. Um, you see that? Shit. Looks like a fucking movie. Um, so basically, we're gonna film the whole set. So Wallace is gonna go to the back of the crowd now so that he can capture the start of the set with like a really nice angle because. That's what all this is all about. Uh, I'm gonna give Kenny the iPhone, so we're gonna like film me going onto the stage for moving differently, but this is over and out from the um, high quality camera and the steady hands. Now, transition into the hands of Kenny Les. You ready? What, Kenny? Let's fucking do it, bro. Let's fucking do it.
All right. Who's Mike? Me and Sub. Yeah. All right. So, welcome to Belgium. We're in Brussels, Belgium. Um, the show is in Luxembourg tonight, but we had to fly into Brussels in Belgium because that was the best flight for us. So, we've done a big jump in. We haven't really spoken to the camera at all since the show last night. Basically, got to the show, did the show, and then um, we decided it was best if we waited until the next day to do the debrief. First of all, I would say the show was really, really good. Elro didn't disappoint. Everything you want from Elro happened. You know, the confetti was amazing. The crowds were huge. The club's sound system was brilliant. Um, there were loads of fans there, loads of hype fam. And I think my set was really good. I've been watching back videos today and it looked fucking incredible. And we filmed the whole set. I think we'll be putting the whole thing out. Don't see why we wouldn't. You never know with fucking copyright and shit, but I'll do my best to get the whole thing out. So, one of the reasons we didn't debrief last night, amongst the amazing show and all of that, we had, we had some issues like as a team, collectively, and credit to everyone. I wasn't aware of these issues until after the show, you know? Um, but yeah, two, two main things happened. Sean experienced racial hatred, physically and verbally and he had to deal with that while I was actually performing. Um, and I don't know, do you want, you want to talk about that anymore in a minute? Or should we just talk about it from what we know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and secondly, Sabian got his iPhone stolen in the crowd while he was filming. So we left the venue last night and the mood was just like, just kind of shocked, man. It was like, I can't even ima imagine how Rashan felt after what had happened. But I know how it made me feel and how it made the rest of the team feel. And we were shocked and we were angry. And it's, it's such, a, such a horrible thing to have to experience racial hatred in a place where, well, in any place at all. But it's so shocking when you're in a place where you think people are there to have a good time and people are there to share love and share experiences together. And I just, I, I, I appreciate that I, I'll never see the world through the perspective of a person of color. But when I, when I think about this stuff, I'm always just so hopeful that we're not gonna run into situations where people experience racism. And I, I, always, I always wanna see the best and I always wanna think the best. And that's why it really shocked me when we're in when we're in a place like a really big city like Madrid, you know. I, I just I don't know, man. And I think the others the other guys will agree with me. It's so it's so shocking that that we're trying to deal with it. Um, so yeah, last night we felt like we should probably just think about what we were going to say before jumping into a debrief in a negative state of mind. Um, so yeah, I'll let I'll let Sabian add anything if you want to add anything. Yeah. So as James was saying. The show, in terms of the music, the set, and the crowd, perfect. Nothing really went wrong, you know. Like, the crowd were good, the, the music was good, but then the stuff that was going on behind the scenes, where Roshan has to keep it professional, and I don't think I could ever do that, like, as well as he did. Like, he maintained a professional state of mind throughout the whole set. And like that takes a lot of fucking courage and that like, balls to do that shit. So yeah, big up you for that. And like, but it's a Agreed. shame that that stuff still happens these days, isn't it? Like, it's just fucked. But yeah, nah, like it's just it's 2022, isn't it? But yeah, it's just something we'll never look back at. Like we'll, we won't we won't forget it, but. We'll move forwards, trying to prevent it more and more. I reckon, because now we've we've seen it firsthand ourselves. Mm. Mm. So like, yeah, hundred. I think we could probably try to like, push a narrative forward if that makes sense. Mm. 
But yeah, like it's good to make people aware that it's happening yeah. and that it's real, and just to see to see how it made Rashawn feel as well. It's fucking, it's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. It's horrible, and it needs to stop. Um, how's everyone feeling today? Not bad. Yeah, everyone's like. <laughs> I also have a I have a constant reminder on my so I have a second phone this is my old phone so it's like a backup phone sorry and can I, I just point out he's making out like this phone's really really bad it's really not nah 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 he's got like an iPhone 11 and it looks like brand new <laughs> I'm really I'm really grateful to still have this but um I have a constant reminder if I find my iPhone that oh yeah your phone's in Madrid at this address blah 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 and yeah, I Bro, think. Bro, the address? Cala de los Hermanos de Pablo, 21 28027, Madrid, Spain. Put it on the screen, Bob. He's a thief. Zoom out, Bob. Let him see. Madrid Hype Fam. Madrid Re Hype Fam. Recover the foam. And Chabi and Pedro, do your shout out. No, no, no. On a serious thing, if you, if you find my phone, 300 euros. I'll add 100 euros as well. Paid. 400 euros. All right, bro. So, I'm going to show. I'm going to go. I'm going to find this phone. <laughs> 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 I said that in the beginning, bro. <laughs> Flight's cancelled, mate. <laughs> All right, so. We're here in Belgium. We've got a long drive to um, Lux. I keep forgetting this place name, Luxembourg. I got the flag wrong the other day on my Instagram. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was actually in Belgium. So we've—I know I was wrong. We've no, it's it's his own country. Yeah, it's his own state. It's, it's like as big as London almost. I think a bit bigger. So yeah, we got to drive to Luxembourg and playing on this festival and. Then go to bed and going home. So it's been a fucking, it's been a really wild week, like a really wild week. Wallace, Wallace, talk to me, bro. You went to a wedding yesterday, <laughs> and then straight to El Row yep. at an enormous club, and had like the most mental night. How are you feeling? Uh, I slept on the plane. Um, I am tired, but I'm good, and I really enjoyed last night. The the show. Mm. up until obviously that incident yeah um, but yeah i'm feeling all right i'm excited for today i sent a rush actually on the plane that i enjoy going to festivals just because of like the whole behind the scenes look you get so i'm excited for it all right yeah it's good for content i get that yeah all right champagne kenny two nights on the champagne how are you feeling yeah so i got off the plane and uh started to feel ill try to power through it with some champagne it didn't go so well, so we kept drinking champagne, and uh, the ultimate end goal, we, we feel better now, and uh, we're just going to drink some more champagne um, before we head home, back to another work week. But yeah, don't be late. <laughs> Into the black hole. Oh, hey. See the lights on the top of the van. Thank you. You know um, when they repair the roads at night, and the guys are like a high vis, and then they all get in the van, park it in the, on the road. Hey, look, we just stopped at the uh, Bofferding to try and um, use the bathroom, the boff room, but um, <laughs> it's fucking closed. Honestly, man, if you're from the UK, right, you know what a service station looks like. You've probably got a choice of seven or eight restaurants. You've got a lovely bathroom that sometimes stinks. And um, a bit of entertainment, a little bit of shopping, nice big parking, lots of coffee, all of that. Open 24 hours. Have a look at this one. <laughs> it's a game. It's a horror movie. And I'm pretty sure our driver's just been in the woods around the back to take a piss. Yeah. So he's pissed. Yeah. Happy. Belgium let us down on the uh, the motorway service station. What do you call a motorway? Highway. Highway. Would you call service station the same thing? 
gas station? No, it's not gas, bro. A yeah. gas station is where you get he's petrol. Fake yeah. This yeah. guy, is this petrol? guy, right. Yeah. Hold on. Motor station, gas station. The problem with Kenny is he's been gone from America so long that I know more about what Americans say than him. True. Right, earlier he was trying to tell me Americans say bin to mean trash. I'm like, no, they don't. That's what we say. Americans say bin to mean container or box, right? <laughs> we, trash bin. No, bro, they don't say oh, that. Put it in the trash yeah. bin. They don't say trash that. Trash bin. That's not a garbage can. They don't can. say that. You can't just put it in a bin. Get back in. All right, transition. A few things. Firstly, we're here in Luxembourg. Secondly, our hotel's there. Thirdly, the festival stage is literally there. And Weiss is playing right now, and I can hear him playing Fill My Needs. You might be able to hear that. Just getting a hotel. It's actually really cold here as well. What the fuck? Bro, this hotel looks like it's closed, or like it looks like a football stadium. Under construction. I have no idea where we are right now, but apparently it's a hotel. We walked in through like a fire exit of what looked like some sort of sports stadium, went down a flight of stairs, past some sort of construction thing with scaffolding, and then the guy handed us keys and he was like, your rooms are down there. And we are definitely in a sports stadium, but these are legitimate rooms. Um, they're all right, yeah? They're fine. Um, bit weird, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it, it don't feel right. <laughs> bit weird. Um, yeah, we have no idea where we are because we came in through this weird back entrance and there's just no one here. We didn't even go through a lobby. No, there was no lobby. No. That's the tires. This is reception. Oh, here you go. Full wellness massage. Oh, great. What? That it's looks like good. wellness. Look at that. That's a builder's wellness, bro. What is this? It's not even finished. What is this? But, mm. but the weird thing is, it doesn't look new either. Like, the room doesn't yeah. look new at all. She went for some crazy person to just pop out. <laughs> Kenny's just texted me saying, I'm trying to find the entrance to the hotel. I just replied to him, lol. <laughs> There's no fucking entrance, bro. There's no fucking hotel. Who's chilling in here? Stripper pole. Come on. Essential. <laughs> They're like, how do we make this not look like a stripper pole? Kenny! That actually got me shook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny! Champagne! But this is the weirdest place I've ever been in my life. Like, we've done a lap of the whole fucking thing. There's not a, not a single person here. This is a hotel? There's no reception? No, there's no... Seen. Come and have a walk around, right, bro. Actually, no, let's check it. So, I'm pretty sure no one's here. This is room four. I'm staying with room three with Wallace. Room two and one, James and Sean. I'd just like to say as well, for the record, Kenny tried to book a room here and he couldn't. because it doesn't exist. See? I reckon you go try every door. Yeah. Housekeeping. Bro, what's happening? Someone's coming. Let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what just happened. We, we just walked that way because we heard a noise and it was an, another person. Is it right? The woman. So, no, it turns out like there is someone else here. <laughs> He's like, I know where she's walk. She goes. <laughs> so yeah, we are. I'm gonna just get changed, and then we're gonna head over to the stage, which is not far from here, right? No. It's and um, it yeah, Rashawn's just showed me a video on his phone. It looks really cool. I love like little festivals like that because it's like you feel really connected with the people. Mm. So yeah, I think it's gonna be good fun. Big stage, Rashawn said, so he said he's, Rashawn was like, basically demonstrating all the dance moves that he's gonna be doing during the set. <laughs> yeah. You were doing cartwheels? <laughs> are we doing one up? Richie. I don't know, I, I, it's gonna be funny with Kenny, with his champagne people. Oh, oh man, <laughs> you got so much space to go like this. Literally. No, you're doing it wrong, it's this, bro. 
I've never I've seen, seen you do that in my life. That's what we were shopping, was like this. Yeah. Right. right, I'm gonna go and sit down and get changed and psych myself up. Let's fucking do this. Kenny, do you wanna come in my room, bro? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Kenny to be like, yeah, yeah, cool. But he just like. Uh, yeah, I'm in the James room, so I'll see you guys later. You do that, bro. No, nah, everyone can come in here if you want. Oh, no, we were. I have invited. a bloody family time, so. No, nah, you are invited. Dad mode. He's got hundreds. Oh, yes. Pure. Getting your key for one. Alright, so uh, I'm kind of feeling ready for the gig now, but there's one more thing that I really, really fucking need. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> Will we break it? Yeah. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on the same floor. Bro, this thing's a bit weird. That was a big one. Uh. Yo. Right now we're in the forest. We're cutting our way through from the hotel to the festival. I can't see the festival, but I can hear it. But it sounded decent. Rash went earlier. He said it was sick. Um, it's the weirdest fucking place ever. Like so fucking weird, man. Never seen anything like it before. But let's go. It's the last show of the week. And I'm here in Luxembourg. Um, let's do it. I haven't even seen the stage. Sounds good, dog. I hear the crowd. First time in this small country. Hopefully, it's going to be lit. I feel like it is. I'm wearing the local jersey. Let's fucking do this. Sabian Page is with us. Champagne Kenny's with us. All good vibes. Fucking go!
Welcome to the debrief. We made sure that we found the loudest crisps available for Rashan to eat. So the Wait, what do you call them, Kenny? Crisps? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's not American. Um, okay, so I had the best time of that show. It was really fucking cool, really good. First time in Luxembourg. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I like it here. I got the jersey on. Luxembourg. The football. Um, and yeah, it was sick. It was really good. Really nice people. Really nice people. We, we've been in Spain all week and we've been doing the type of shows that are like high pressure environments. Like we played at the number one club in the world. You told me that's not pressure, right? <laughs> we played at Fabric in Madrid at El Ro with something like 10,000 people, big pressure and kind of out of my comfort zone as well. You know, I really enjoy the fact that it's out of my comfort zone because it's playing um, on a more underground lineup and super late at night in a really well-known techno club, you know? Um, and I really, really appreciate the opportunity and I really, I feel like I rose to that opportunity. But then when you get to do a show like tonight and it's just like, felt like a show that I've done so many times before, but in a really good way. And I think the guys all agree, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I really enjoyed today as well. Like, <laughs> Not been to a show like this for a while. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of Spain recently, and every club was like different but similar. Like this was just totally different. Like, yeah, first time in Luxembourg was a good time. Mm -hmm. and it's a new festival. Like that's like their first ever thing. I swear. Yeah. yeah. They done really sick for that. Like, big up them. Uh, Champagne, Kenny. Uh, man. What a show, um, especially a good show to bounce back on. Uh, like a lot of the things you guys don't see um, from like the security, mapping out everything, getting this there safely, they did a great job. It did. Um, yeah. You know, them, them even saying they watched moving differently and they didn't want to mess up yeah, yeah. with the equipment and stuff like that. Um, just great job overall. The crowd was great. Um, a lot of older hype fam in the crowd. <laughs> A lot. What do, you, what do you mean by older? Older in age? Or yeah, older yeah. in age. Right. And uh, it was just, it's just really cool to see. You like, doesn't matter how old you are, you know, you can get out there and still have fun. You know what? Can I just deep it? I'm just thinking about the whole show and everything. It was 100% good vibes. Mm -hmm. The whole set was there. Yeah. Every worker was respectful. Every, like, Stage per like worker was respectful. Even the crowd members were respectful. Bro, the whole crowd. No yeah. one was throwing bottles or no one was throwing anything. Someone threw a hat, but that's like a good thing, you know. Like they're like, oh, wear my hat, blah blah. blah. But, so um, you paid guide on throwing things in crowds. <laughs> hat is nice. Rolex, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Bottle, not nice. <laughs> but, anything yeah. else? Anything else you're, they're allowed to throw? Uh, their hands in the air. New hands iPhone? in the air. Yeah. Uh, new iPhone 13 Pro Max. <laughs> um, that was brilliant. That's a brilliant show. Like, everyone was respectful. Like, the media team there mm -hmm. was so Top like, piece. they were great. Like literally, I hope. I, like I literally wish that all media teams were like this team because they were yeah. very like thankful and understood what was going on. They they went out the way to know who everyone was to then work together to make things happen. So yeah, I appreciate that. It was the first time I've ever seen people in the green room like waiting if we needed anything those those two mm -hmm. older ladies oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were just like Aww. on standby like whatever yeah, whatever James needed or whatever we needed they were on it and they were just super polite and they even took a break to come see James perform yeah yeah so yeah, you see how nervous she was to take yeah. the, take the video like, also <laughs> when James played Ferrari and he filtered it so the crowd could sing it man that was epic yeah that was really epic. Yeah, I think that when the Moving Differently viewers watch the clip of it here... <laughs> Can you guys see it? They'll agree. It's right there. Can we talk about how, uh, as we arrived, the DJ that was on stage playing had sampled in Ferrari and everyone started to freak out. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll take that one. I, I'll take that one. We walked into the festival, literally like through this back gate, and the first thing we heard was, can I be honest? And then just some drums. And I was like, you've got to be joking me. We have not walked in while the DJ before me is playing Ferrari. No fucking way. I'm on stage in 10 minutes and I'm th th like, this guy's literally mixing in Ferrari. And I was like, what the, what, what the hell? And then Rash was like, yo, I've got to like get on stage now to like stop this. <laughs> um, and then he spoke to the, the promoter and the promoter was like, no, he's definitely not. He's definitely not. And we're like, we just heard it. Yeah. And then he's like, no, he, what he might be doing is just teasing it in and not playing it just to remind everyone. And then like 30 seconds went by and he's, he hadn't dropped Ferrari and we were like, okay, yeah, that's what he was doing. <laughs> and we all got pretty like concerned, but I actually really like that he did that. I think it's really cool. <laughs> I just realized something. There's one thing that was off. Special effects. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got there in the end, right? But after about 10 or 15 minutes, everything was in check, yeah? Oh, mate. But I, I, I don't had a know. Conversation. <laughs> Me and the guy had a conversation. Oh, really? And he was like, yeah, um, things are not working. I don't know what's happening. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we saw it. No. He's the one who's not working. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> the first time that all that fire and CO2 went off, it looked amazing, by the way. But the first time it went off was in a breakdown. The second time it went off was 20 seconds after the drop on another record. <laughs> The third time it went off, it looked like he was trying to do it to the rhythm of <laughs> something else. And it's like he had headphones in listening to a tune. And he's like, um, yeah. And every time it went off, I had Sabi in next to me and Rashawn was there. And I was just like. Because <laughs> it was like, it was, it was like it was completely random. And then what you, did you have a chat with the guy? Yeah, I had to have a chat with him. And then when I came back, you were like, it's in time. <laughs> it was good though. So that brings us to the end of an absolutely wild episode of Moving Differently. Um, Champagne Kenny is going to go to an after party and we're going to go to bed because we've got a flight at, well, we're leaving at 9 a.m. for the flight. We're going home. Home. Next time you see us, we'll be going to Malta. Oh, Paige's not coming with us. Long, day, long days. I'll be coming to Ibiza. He's coming to Ibiza. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. And I read every comment. Sure. Big up the crew. Big up the crew. Yes, yes. We said this earlier. We said this earlier backstage at that festival right now, but everyone's done a fucking great job this week. It's been really hard and it's been really good and really bad and everything all at once and everyone's done really well to just fucking keep going and it's sick. Dollar. So yeah, Wild Wallace especially man, fucking guys me to sleep for about four days. Do you know what else I found out? You know this wedding he went to? He wasn't a, he wasn't a guest. He was doing fucking photos. So, <laughs> so he went straight from a whole day filming, moving differently, a whole night filming at High Ibiza, straight on a flight. Got off the flight, took photos at a wedding. And then I think they were like, oh, you can, you can eat the leftovers for, for taking the photos. <laughs> he ate the leftovers. <laughs> and then he came to, <laughs> so this is, this is, this is Dramatized for entertainment purposes, <laughs> and then he came to um, the fabric. Fa fabric in Madrid, and um, yeah, he's, he's he's had a crazy week. It's all right though. How much ham did you eat? About five kilos. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's probably best if we do some sort of teddy bear transition to end the episode. Show me that tempo. Tempo. Tempo.